Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about the reproductive structure that is flower in more detail. So what is a flower? So we all see a lot of beautiful flowers around us. Red, green, blue, yellow in colors. So what are these? These are the reproductive organ of the flowering plant. So you can understand how crucial a flower is for the plant because if there is no flower, the plant will not be able to reproduce to give rise to new plants. So flower is nothing but a modified shoot. Now this is interesting to know. Many of you might have felt that flower is a different thing but actually flower is nothing but a part of the shoot which has been modified to form a flower it's so like you have roots which grow below the ground you have shoots which grow above the ground so you would have seen that flowers are always present either on the terminal end of a shoot or on the branches coming out from the shoot so the flowers are nothing but they are also modified part of the shoot so if you talk about the structure of the flower, so let's look at this simple diagram of a flower to understand the various parts of it. So we will quickly look at the various parts. So this is the stalk of the flower. So you see this, uh, you know, the tube-like structure which actually acts as the holder for the flower because it is holding the flower above it. So this is called the stalk of the flower. The stalk has a swollen end above and this swollen end is called thalamus. So this is called the swollen upper part of the stalk is thalamus. Af above this, you have the sepals so you would have seen the green colored small leaf like structures which are present on a flower so if you have not seen these parts what you do when you are learning this slide take a flower maybe from your small garden or from anywhere and just try to observe these parts you'll be able to see the stalk the thalamus and just above the thalamus you will see some small green colored uh, leaf like structures so these are called sepals then you have the colored parts of the plant which gives the plant red, yellow, pink, green color. So these colored parts are called the petals. So you have many petals. Some plants have four petals, some have five petals, some have nine petals, some have a lot of petals. So it depends from flower to flower but these are the petals. Now, so these, this is all that you can observe from outside. Now if you peep inside, so from above you try to see what is there inside the flower. You will be able to see the male reproductive organ which is called stamen. So inside you will see these are the male reproductive organs. You see green colored structure with yellow heads. So these are the male reproductive structures called stamens and at the center of the flower the perfect center you again see a swollen structure at the base and a long tube like structure above it so this part is the female reproductive structure which is called the carpel so stamen is the male reproductive structure and carpel is the female reproductive structure. Now one question that you might ask me that can we see the male and the female reproductive structure in all the flowers? Not really. That is why we spoke about unisexual and bisexual flowers. So bisexual flowers can have the stamen and the carpel within the same flower. But unisexual flowers will either have the stamen or it will have the carpel. So uh, in order to understand the structure the best, you can take a china rose flower which is also called gurhal or hibiscus. So this china rose flower would help you to see both the female and the male parts very distinctly. So please take a china rose and have a look at these different parts of the flower. So now what we are going to do in the next few slides is understand the uh, function of each of these parts of flower. So when you talk about the various parts again you start with the stalk. So stalk is a tube like slender structure axis. It is like an axis of the flower. It is almost at the center of the flower. So have you ever seen this stalk present towards one side of the flower? No, it is always present at the center. So it is like an axis or a tube which helps to hold the flower. So this is stalk. The next part is thalamus and 
thalamus is the swollen upper part upper portion of the stalk now why do you have a swollen portion above now when you have this part it actually helps the plant to sit over it better like just think of you sitting on a stool or a chair so if you look at the legs of the chair so they are like tube like structures or axis like structures but on top of that the base is little swollen so that you can comfortably sit on it so in a similar way this is also structured so in, at the bottom you have a tube on the top of the tube you have a swollen structure that is thalamus and then the entire big flower will sit over the thalamus Next are the petals which are the colored parts of the flower. Now these parts their main job is to attract insects. Now why do the flowers want to attract insects? Because insects play a very important role in the process of sexual reproduction. So when we discuss the exact entire process you will see the role of insects. So it is very important that insects should come to the flowers. So why will insects come to the flower? They need to be attracted by something and that attraction are the petals. So the colorful color, the colorful appearance of the petals attract insects. So petals could be red, green, white, blue, any color. So in a way, the pet petals are quite big also. If you look at a flower, you will see compared to the thalamus, stalk or uh, the internal structures also, petals are quite big. So it helps to protect the reproductive organs which are present inside. Because as you can see, the male and the female parts, they are actually present inside. So these petals also provide protection to the internal reproductive organs. So that is also very important. Next is sepals and sepals also uh, ensure protection. So these structures, the green structures are called sepals. Now you might say that if I look at a flower, I feel that sepals are very small. Then how do they protect the flower? Now sepals protect the flower when the flower was a bud. So how do you get that flower? Initially it was a bud. Now when it was a bud, how was the sepals protecting it? Now if you look at a rose bud, you will see that the petals are not have not yet come up so it is kind of covered with the green sepals now as it start blooming the green sepals move out and the big petals come out and then petals protect the inter inter uh, internal reproductive parts but initial in the initial stages when the flower is not yet formed so when it is a bud that time the main protection is given by the sepals so look at this picture. This is how a rose bud would look, would look like. And in this case, you see these are the sepals. And the sepals give protection to the bud. Because this time also protection is needed. If there is no protection, it might happen that the bud will never turn into a flower. It might get attacked by some other animal or insects and they might eat it up. So the sepals protect it when it is a bud. Once it becomes a flower, then these petals, the colored petals, they protect the internal reproductive parts. Stamen, so as I have mentioned, these are the stamens. So the stamens are the male reproductive organ. So they produce the male gametes or the male sex cells and the male gametes are the pollen grains. So these are the male gametes. Similarly, you have the female reproductive organ, which is carpal. So this one is the female reproductive organ. And this carpal produces the female gametes Female gamete is called egg or ovum. Now how sexual reproduction happened? The pollen grains and the ovum or the egg, they will fuse together to form a new plant. So that is how the process of sexual reproduction has to take place. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.